What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We've got the beautiful Rosine 24V right here. And we are finally going to be putting her actual wheel and tire setup on this truck today. We're gonna get to removing the current wheel setup that is on the truck and getting her new setup on. It, it worked out well. I still don't know if I'm gonna get a refund for the two bad tires, but I was able to find a set of 35 by 1250s or other measurement 315 60 R20s here in town. They were very pricey per tire, but they're good tires and they weren't on back order and they happened to have one set left in town here. So I was able to pick up two tires and uh, you know, and, and they actually let me just buy two out of the four that were left in that warehouse in town. And apparently like these tires, like you cannot find them hardly anywhere right now. Like they're having a huge problem with getting these. Maybe it's just a specific size, but the Toyo MT and a 35 1250, but we got a set. We're all good, tires and wheels are mounted and balanced and all that good stuff. So let's get this, so let's get this camera rolling on time lapse and we're going to pull off nasty reds wheels and tires, which we have to take back over there and put on that truck today, get Reagan's new wheels and tires put on. And there's a little bit I gotta go into detail on with those wheels that we got on this truck. And what actually ended up happening was just super cool. And this company, you know, we've worked with them in the past but you know they they went above and beyond on this so uh we're going to get the camera set up and get swapping these out and show you the big reveal guys rosine 2.0 is officially the way she's going to be sitting for at least a little while here and uh, it looks so so good so let me go over all the details some of the complications we ran through and tell you about the wheel setup and how we actually got our hands on these wheels let's first get into the wheels and then we'll talk about a couple of other things so these are anthem avengers and I actually reached out to one of the guys over at anthem and I was just looking to place an order I, you know I hadn't worked with them in uh, several months now and so I felt bad even even attempting to ask for any kind of a partnership or deal on a set so so I just emailed them and I said you know I'm trying to place an order on a set of your Anthem Avengers for my wife's 21st birthday I'm doing a big makeover to her truck I just want to see you know if I can get an order sent through and see how fast it, you know we can get them to us they actually got back with me and they said dude don't even worry about it you just give us a shipping address we'll take care of the rest that just blew my mind and I know that we've worked with them in the past but the last set of wheels that we ever got sent to us that were actually 100% off ever was the set that was just on Rosine. It was these Anthems right here in the bed, the Anthem Gunners. And we got those, I believe it was in late 2017 or early 2018. And so since then, we've always worked with them whenever we had an opportunity. Uh, just because we like the company we love the brand we love what they stand for and we love their customer service and how friendly they are with working with people on all levels and so it was just one of those things to where we've just kind of favored anthem over most other wheel brands just because of the personable experience we've always had with them i didn't ask for anything other than assistance and seeing how fast i could get these wheels to me and they just said dude don't worry about it you know we'll take care of it and the wheels actually came in in less than a week and then we had a tire problem and so that's why we couldn't have them on in time for the reveal anthem really stepped up though they had them to us in under seven days and uh i don't know if that's normal or not but i mean they got them to us super quick the tires were not ordered through them they those were ordered through a totally different company they also got here around the same time as the wheels but the problem we ran into was of course to the tires were bad so i had to buy two tires from a local shop that cost a fortune but that is how we got our hands on these wheels and huge shout out to anthem and the guys and gals over there and of course there's going to be some people that are like oh my gosh you know you're only promoting them because you got the set for free and 
you know, whatever else. It was a gift to my wife. And so, yeah, I'm gonna promote them for stepping up and doing something like that when they absolutely didn't have to and I didn't ask for it. And they just went above and beyond simply because they wanted to. Nobody was asking anything of them. They didn't ask me to do anything in particular. They didn't say, oh, well, we'll send them to you if you promote us a bunch or if you tell people to buy our wheels. Or, no strings attached. They just said, you give us an address, we'll send you the wheels that you guys want. Enjoy them, tell Reagan we said happy birthday. I mean, to me, what does that say about a company? I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm gonna take the opportunity to say a huge thank you to the guys over there and the gals over there. And thank you so much, Reagan. Really, really will appreciate it when she comes out and sees these on her truck. And I just, just can't uh, can't say thank you enough. You guys are awesome. Check them out, anthemwheels.com. There's a link in the description below if you don't wanna type it all out. Definitely check them out. And I think you can tell them that Reagan, Rosine 24V or Diesel Babe, like when you check out, sent you. And then that'll actually help let them know like where any type of customers are coming from, like who's recommending them to use their wheels and use their brand. So um, definitely go check them out. But so we've got the 35 by 1250 Toyo Open Country MTs in the front and in the rear. We are rocking a 20 by 12 Anthem Avenger. And I, for one, love these wheels on this truck. It's a simple wheel. You can put them on any of the four hubs. You don't have to worry about them being proper directional, although that's cool too. But to me, I just this is just easier for tire rotations and stuff like that, and just not getting confused on stuff. It's just very, very simple and looks absolutely amazing. And for those of you wanting a quick refresh on what all is done to Rosine suspension wise, she is running a five inch rough country lift front and rear. And then in the front, she's also running a two and a half inch spacer on top of her five inch lift to give her a total of seven ish, seven and a half ish inches of increased clearance in the front. And that is how she's able to run a setup like this very easily. Do you need the extra spacer in the front? No, you can probably get away with just a five inch lift and run this setup on this second gen style truck. I know that some guys will say, oh, I can fit 35s on a stock third gen or a stock fourth gen, maybe on like stock wheels and tires. Um, on a leveling kit, you might be able to squeeze them under, but I guarantee you're gonna be rubbing your fenders up pretty good. Maybe not terribly on the fourth gens and third gens, but there's a very good chance with just a leveling kit and 20 by 12s with 35s, you will probably see some fender damage. So just be careful doing that. But you know, we wanted to have a tire that's gonna give her plenty of clearance, the ability to still hook up to a trailer if she has to, the, the ability to make full locking turns if she's on or off-road, hitting bumps, etc. I mean, we wanted a very functional wheel and tire setup. That's why we got rid of the 24 by 14s and the Archons were nice, but they were just too big of a setup for this truck and what we were really wanting. Now, Reagan did love the super, super wide look. She likes the 14 wide look, but you know, I got to talking to her about the options for it and I said, babe, you got to think about how much you want to drive this truck. You keep telling me I want to drive it all the time. I want to drive it all the time. You're like, I want a daily drivable truck. I want my truck to be daily drivable. I, and I'm like, you can run 14 wides and 15 and a half wide tires, but with a baby in the back and going down the road and driving around town, if you know, if you're trying to pull into tight spaces and parking lots and park to be able to still go get your groceries and whatever else you do around town, that's just a lot of wheel and tire. And it, you know, would still rub if you really locked it fully. It pretty much cleared on 14 wides and 35 by 1550s. But, you know, if you truly locked it, it would still rub a little bit. I'm like, it's just gonna be a pain in the butt, you know? And she's like, well, that's a good point. Yeah, let's just go with the 20 by 12 setup instead. Let's do that. Let's run the 35s and uh, just make it a super functional truck that still looks super aggressive. Don't think that it, we compromised on the look or the appearance by going with a 35 by 1250 and a 12 wide instead of something bigger. This is just the, the setup we really decided was best for this truck to be able to look good enough to stop by at a truck show or a truck meet on the weekend, but also be functional enough to where she can still run around town if she has to and use it day to day. And that's what we wanted and that's what we got. For those of you that missed most of the Rosine build series on YouTube, Go back and check out those videos. This video will also be in that playlist. Just go to the Rosine, maybe it's Rosine 24V. It's Rosine something. And essentially it's just us taking this truck and transforming the whole front clip essentially, tail lights, wheels, tires, mirrors. I mean, just 
everything all the small things that needed done on this truck small things that were very expensive to get done in a weekend but all the small things that needed done we got done to where her truck is at least the most presentable i could get it in a couple of days definitely go check out that series if you want to see what all we did to this truck from the beginning to end and if you are interested in entering to win a true 5.9 street monster this thing does four wheel drive burnouts zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds and that was doing it for my first time ever. So it could have built more boost. It probably could have done even better than 3.9. But out of the four runs that I did zero to 60, my best three was 3.9, 4.1, and 4.2. So very, very, very consistent times. This thing is super nasty. If you guys want a comparison, I think the Hellcat that I had did around three or three and a half seconds zero to 60. And my dad's 392 Hemi Scat Pack, that did like a 4.6 zero to 60. So Think about that. This is a freaking heavy truck. It does zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds or better. That's insane. If you wanna get entered to win this, it's this easy. Literally all you gotta do to enter to win this truck, it is your last day. The giveaway ends tonight at midnight. So if you wanna get in, this is all you gotta do. Go to lmpgear.com, buy literally anything on the store that you like. That's a product that you like. If there's nothing you like on the store, then I guess maybe it's just not for you, but I'm trying to let you guys know that we do have a lot of options. We have winter coats, fall's coming up soon. We have windbreakers. I mean, we've got socks and decals, stickers, tons of hats, tons of new shirts, keychains and koozies and uh, coffee and mugs, tumblers. We've got all kinds of stuff, drink coolers. If you guys wanna go check that stuff out, you, you can buy literally anything off the store and you're automatically entered to win this truck plus five grand. And for the first time we've ever done this, we have never done this before, and I don't know if we'll do this again, but for the only time we've ever done it, we're offering 25X entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. So every $1 you spend gets you 25 entries instead of the normal one that it was for most of the giveaway. So if you wanna get in on that deal, it's the last few moments to enter that it ends tonight at midnight, and then this giveaway, it's gone. So here it is, Reagan's seeing it on the 35s and the anthems for the first time. I like how tall they actually look now, a little bit more than the 33s. Um, I went with the same wheels that I had on Black Beauty, and I really love that look. The two-tone, I don't know what the exact word is for that. The, is it like the milled, the milled machined look? look. So I really like those, and Anthem actually sent those to me as a gift. So huge thank you to Anthem. I really appreciate you guys always supporting us and working with us. They're such a great company, um, and Dave is amazing. I've been on his lives. Uh, just all around great company, and I highly recommend. I'm super happy with them. I actually had uh, 20 by 12s, like when I first got the truck, and 35s, and it was just beating the crap out of the fenders, and I could not do a full turn. Now I can do a full turn, and know it's not gonna rub, and it's not gonna damage my fenders, and um, so that is the size and the look I wanted to go with, so super happy. I think it looks really, really good. The 33s, like it kind of gave you a little bit of a taste of what it, you know, was kind of gonna look like. But the 35s just fill the tie, they fill the wheel better and they feel the fender better. And it just, it just makes it look not so like empty around the wheel well, you know what I mean? Like the 33 just left you more to desire, but I feel like this is just about the perfect look for a truck that you can still run around town in, you can still take it to the truck show on the weekend. Like it's very functional. And I was telling them, you know, like the 24 by 14 Archons in the 35 by 15 50 tires like it looked really cool but like you're not going to run to hobby lobby or walmart or through a drive or a drive through with you know 24 by 14s and 15 wide tires yeah like i told him that you know in case you want to pull a little horse trailer or whatever like it's still a very functional setup and you can lock your wheel if you have to to turn around or if you are maneuvering a trailer not being able to lock your wheel that's kind of a problem. So yeah, so that's, there, there was a lot of thought that went into why we wanted this type of a setup. And uh, Anthem really just helped us make that possible so much easier by coming through on that. I mean, we were planning to pay for the set and when I said it was for her birthday, they're like, you know, you just give us an address and we'll send them. Like, don't worry about it, man. And uh, so that was, that was really something. So I've been driving in this truck here. I got the gauges here and this is a road that's pretty rough, and on these tires, this truck rides pretty stinking good. Like, 
Like I'm thoroughly surprised how well it rides on these tires. We now have a monthly subscription mystery box that you guys can get. It's gonna have clothing and items and accessories in it that you can't get on the store at any other time. These are literally only mystery items that you have no idea what you're getting and it's stuff that we don't sell anywhere else on the store. So if you wanna get part of that, if you wanna be part of that club, that is something that we just launched. We're super excited about it. Reagan has been working her tail off to get that done for uh, the guys that love the mystery boxes and the gals that love those. I mean, completely unreleased items. So cups and koozies and stickers and shirts and hats and hoodies and all kinds of stuff. I think she's making a couple different ones. They're gonna be well worth it. She's putting some pretty freaking cool stuff in those every month. So she's been working like crazy. So if you guys wanna show her some support by doing a mystery box on a monthly subscription that would be freaking awesome and you'll get one every single month and it's going to be packed full of merch and it'll automatically every time you get one it'll automatically enter you for the current giveaway so you never miss a giveaway and you always get your entries definitely take advantage of that those are super cool anyways guys last chance to enter when that third gen i'll catch you guys in the next video peace